We're here at Bogle Heads 9 with our mentor, Jack Bogle. Jack, thanks for uh, speaking with us. Always uh, my treat. Thank you. Um, one of the striking things that I heard you say at my first one of my first meetings was that you could teach just about everything about investing in just a few minutes. If I were to put you in front of every single person in the country for those few minutes, what would you say to them? Well, I'd say first, invest you must. If you don't put money away, you'll end up with nothing. Pretty clear. Uh, how to invest, uh, don't make it any more complicated than it is. Own the stock market and own the bond market. And you can own the stock market through an all market index fund. You can own the bond market through an all bond market index fund. And that's the most sensible way to invest. And you have to figure out kind of for yourself. If you're young, you want to be very heavily towards stocks. If you're old and you've got more wealth, less appetite for risk, need income more, you want to lean, tilt heavily to bonds. It's a lifetime asset allocation a struggle. And uh, just make sure the funds you buy are low cost. Don't pay sales loads. Uh, watch out for funds that have high turnovers. Index funds do not. Uh, make sure you have very, very low cost, operating costs, and, and zero management costs, uh, which you do in an index fund. And then be careful of tax efficiency, because trading is uh, very expensive, and you pay taxes, and that devastates long-term investment returns. So it's the bond market and the stock market, and get the costs out of the equation. And I guess my final piece of advice would be, don't peak. Uh, just put your money away, month after month after month after month, and don't look. And if you start when you're 20 and retire when you're 80, which I'm thinking about doing but haven't decided to do it yet, and you see what that account is worth in 60 years, you aren't going to believe it. Throw everything else out along the way. That sounds like fantastic advice. The, uh, so when, when you're tempted to peak, when you're, or even worse, when you're tempted to do something, in, re in response to everything else going on, what should we do? How how do we avoid that? Well, this the you know this is this great sort of American ethic uh, that we can always win, and uh, the, the great statement is, uh, don't just stand there, do something. And uh, my advice is, don't do something, just stand there, uh, because we we get most excited and most depressed and most likely to sell uh, when the market's at a low and uh, we get most elated and most optimistic when the market's at a high. When the market's at a low, you're tempted, therefore, to sell. When the market's at a high, you're tempted to buy. So don't try and time the market. Uh, I've, I've often said that I don't know how to time the market. I don't know anybody who has ever been able to time the market successfully. And I don't even know anybody who knows anybody that's timed the market successfully. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. One last thing. Um, you, your career spans 60, 60 years, and you've done a lot of amazing things and uh, achieved quite a bit in that time. 50, 60 years from now, what would, what, what would you want people to remember about you or you know, remember about your accomplishments or achievements? I don't spend a lot of time thinking about that. But it would be something like um, he was an ordinary person who did his best. Not that.